Hi, Lori. I am so excited to talk to you. You are one of the artists that we're going to be speaking with today, and you really have a unique aspect of looking at more portraitures, but bringing them into art form. Tell us about your experience. Um, I think I just kind of stumbled into finding out that I have a knack for it. And what I really love about doing portraits is the challenge. Mm. If something's a little bit off, everyone knows, everyone can tell. And so like, I really get like that good like rush feeling when okay. I like nail it. And uh, I also love like the fact that it translates so well for other people to make things for them so I can share my gift with them and they can get enjoyment out of it. How long have you been painting? Um, I think I did my first portrait painting like an art class in high school. Okay. Um, but I, I, I didn't really do anything. I picked up the brushes again. You like, didn't realize and, then that you were an artist? <laughs> no, I was just like being competitive. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't until my 20s or so, mid-20s, that I picked the brushes back up. That's fantastic. And you have an opportunity to paint various things. What is your favorite thing to paint? I think my favorite thing to paint is... Uh, things with high contrast and a lot of color mm. um, and portraits, yes, because I just know that like I I'm good at it and it feels good to be good at something. And I think what's really unique about yours, if we look at this one in particular, this is one I, I would love for you to tell me a little bit more about it. But what your your artwork itself almost looks like a picture. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I actually saw Cher perform live in Vegas with my husband one year, and then it was like during the pandemic, we were all locked in. I was working as a registered nurse at the time, and I, had a, I was just restless energy, and I cranked this out in three days. And Oh my gosh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just, amazing. You know, just dancing around, blaring Cher, getting it done. Oh my gosh. It was very cathartic. Now, what kind of medium do you use for your art? Um, I Most of the things that I have are acrylic. Okay. I have kind of worked it out to where the, the drawbacks, there's pros and cons to each medium, and like the cons, I've kind of like work, have some workarounds, so it's not really a problem for me anymore, and it's just safer, I have kids, and yeah. yeah. So, uh, speaking of like, you're relatively new to professional art. For sure. So, what kind of recommendations or suggestions or tips or tricks might you have for someone who's thinking, you know what, maybe I'm gonna pick up that paintbrush again? Um, start by starting. Okay. You know, a lot of the time that I've wasted not doing things was just like I was holding myself back. Mm. So, start by starting and then just tweak along the way and it'll be great. If you want to talk about this piece too, I'm sure. Okay, we love elephants in our house. My yeah. daughter's name is Eliana, so elephant is like her spirit animal. There's so much color in this. Yeah, I I love doing the color. This is actually something I didn't use a reference image from, which is oh, not as okay. common for me. Um, I was doing uh, how to draw books with my daughter, and there was a page with an elephant, and it turned into this. It started out a completely different color. Okay, so I have done those how to draw, and mine have never looked like this. <laughs> Let's well, just be clear, that's not an expectation. <laughs> well, there's talent, but then there's also skill that comes with it. And skill is something that you work on. Just like if you have good handwriting, it's something that you worked on. And once sure. you got it figured out, you know, it's your signature. So do you do commission paintings then? I love to do commission stuff. Okay. Absolutely. Um, it gives me direction, and I know that it's going to end up in the hands of somebody who enjoys it instead of just right. hanging around my house. And it's something important. It's something special to them. Yeah, absolutely. What's one of the most favorite things you've painted? Um, I've done portraits of my children, mm. and those by far are my favorites. Yeah. Now, is this the first time you're doing or taking part in an art show? Um, this is the first time I've done For the Love of Art. I've okay. done like, I did a couple local small little craft shows over the summer. Oh, you're in for a real treat. This is an amazing art show. I love it. I'm excited. I went last year okay. and I'm just so over the moon to be included this it's year. It's fantastic. Well, we're so excited to have you be a part of this. Thank you. Oh, uh, what is something that you might want somebody to know about your art? Hmm. I take a great deal of time and effort. I'm very meticulous and I put a lot of a little a lot of thought behind what I do. Awesome. Awesome. So when someone comes to the show and they see you set up, they can purchase what they have on here, but they can also work with you to create a commissioned piece. I would love it. And I'm so open to it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Larry. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you. You have beautiful artwork, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful child and everything. Beautiful dogs. <laughs> we got to see the whole family today. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.